hi guys my name is Raven and welcome back to my channel um, if you're new here thanks for watching um, don't forget to like and subscribe and if you're not new here um welcome back so um, today what I'm gonna be talking about is my experience well the first 48 hours of basic training so first, um, let me just let say this. I went to basic training in 2020, um, and that was during um, COVID. That was like the spring of COVID, like when COVID first happened. We were the first COVID uh, flight. So um, yeah, so things probably or more than likely have changed since then, but probably not as far as like the things that were going on. But just telling you my, my experience and how I was, um, how things went while I was there. So first, I went to basic training at Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas. Um, and I went probably, it was around like June. I went in June, the beginning of June, because it was like black flag every single day. So um, first, what I did was I went to my base, my home base. So as a reservist, I go to my home base first. And then from my home base, I fly from there to San Antonio to the airport so once I got to the airport um, I was looking around I got off my plane I was looking around and they had signs put up for you to follow when you got um, to the airport on um, where you were supposed to go where were the people that was going to basic training going Air Force basic training going so I followed that um, they also gave me like a little packet to go by when I first um, was getting ready to go to basic because I was in DNTF, so they kind of prepared me for what was to, what was I gonna um, what I was gonna expect while I was getting ready to go. So um, yeah, they gave me a little packet and they gave me like instructions on what I need to look for, where I need to go, what floor to find my um, the MTIs. So I followed those. I actually followed a couple people that were already going to basic training with me as well because you could tell who was going to basic training and who wasn't because of how they were dressed. Um, I had on a Santee um, uniform shirt and I had on jeans, had my shirt tucked in my pants and you know a belt, got it, and I had like a jacket on, a lightweight jacket on because it was, you know, hot in San Antonio, Texas, but you know, just in case you get cold on the plane, that didn't even matter, but um, yeah, so I um, got to the um, airport and I went downstairs and I found the MTIs and when I first got down there it was a sign that said throw all food and drinks in the garbage like none of that throw it in the trash so I advise you before you go downstairs to get something to eat if you haven't ate so go to the food court get you something to eat and eat your food up there do not take it downstairs and I wouldn't say it's no need to rush but don't take your time either but eat your food while you're up there before you go downstairs because you will throw it in the trash so um, we got so um, we got to the, um, so I got downstairs and I was with my um, MTIs and, well not my MTIs, but I was with the set of MTIs that were, you know, loading us up on the bus. So we got in a straight line and they were talking to us, they called everybody's names, we got in uh, alphabetical order and it was a lot of us guys, it was a lot of us. So they called us um, by alphabetical order of who was going to what, um, who was going to be in what squadron yeah so there are different squadrons there are like three or four maybe different squadrons i can't remember off the top of my head but um there are different squadrons and they were calling everybody by what squadron they were going to and there were like separate buses coming and going coming and going there's like four different buses picking people up and taking them to the base so i was in the second group and they were calling my name and we were getting you know in line so i'm in line mind you i had on this lightweight um Nike, Nike, um, pullover, yeah, Nike pullover, it wasn't like a, um, it wasn't like a hoodie, it was like, just like one of the little thin pullovers that you put on and it like zip, half zips, half zip up, I don't even remember the name, but yeah, it was like a half zip up athletic lightweight jacket I had on, pullover, and I, um, had it on top of my shirt and I was in line, you know, I had to stand at attention or stand at, at ease or whatever. And they were like, tuck your jacket in your pants. And I'm like, huh? He was like, did you hear me? Tuck your jacket in your pants. I was like, oh my God, okay. Um, so I just took my jacket in my pants. So yeah, they were yelling for like 
no reason like crazy but I ended up getting on the bus and as soon as I got on the bus um, I sat in the front now we didn't have MTIs on the bus with us as we were going to the um, to the base but you know you may have MTIs on the bus now but we didn't have MTIs on the bus I heard that the people that last came out they had MTIs on the bus and they were um, yelling at them th throughout the whole ride but we didn't have that so as soon as we got on base um, I got off the bus and they were saying huddle up and walk go in a circle you know standing in a circle and I was like hurry up hurry up hurry up yada, 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 yelling at us so everybody's running to get in make a form a circle around the, um, the little area in front of the um, I don't know I think it was like an auditorium or whatever so they were yelling at us to get in a circle form a circle around that and I'm trying to remember after that I know after that we got in an um, assembly line kind of like sort of and we got our backpacks and our backpacks had like shower shoes shampoo conditioner um, two brushes all that stuff in like a little backpack and I think I got my BMTSG during that time as well and the BMTSG is just like a big book uh, with all of the information that you're going to be studying while you're at basic training because at the end of basic training you have an ELC test that you have to take I can't tell you about the ELC test but you have an ELC test that you have to take and pass in order to get out of basic training. So um, that's one of the things that is different from the Air Force, that makes the Air Force different. We have a test to take at the end of basic training. And if we don't pass it, then you're not gonna graduate from basic training. So um, yeah, be prepared for that. Um, we got, um, I got my backpack, I got all my stuff in there and we got in a, formed a line or whatever and we were walking, everybody, was walking with their stuff and we were walking to the atrium so that was a long walk y'all and especially if you got like heavy bags do not bring do not bring anything heavy y'all like I know they say pack uh, pack extra stuff but do not do not pack heavy because you're gonna have to carry your stuff on your own and it, if you bring a suitcase no rolling <laughs> no rolling you're gonna have to hold that thing in your hand the whole way that's why I had a duffel bag I brought like a, a Nike duffel bag and I just had it on my shoulder and I was walking and I had like a backpack. And keep in mind you're gonna have your other backpack as well so you're gonna be walking with this stuff in your hand so be mindful of what you pack when you're going to basic training. Um, also, so we were walking to the atrium and <laughs> then we got in our little sections. They sat us down, we had to crisscross applesauce on the ground and read our BMTSG go over all of the information that was on there basically study while they get everybody together and sit down so they can um, match everybody with their match everybody with their MTIs so let me tell you I made it there like nighttime like 11 10 11 12 o'clock at night so I was just sitting out there sleepy but you can't go to sleep don't please don't go to sleep because that will make you shame so I got there late and they gave us like these little lunch, lunch boxes. It was a frozen Subway sandwich, a little box juice, and you're lucky if you got like cookies, but that's it. Um, and you had to eat that until the next morning for, um, for breakfast. So we sat there, we were waiting, eating, yada, yada, yada. And we finally got with our NTIs. They called us out and I had two male NTIs I had. Um, I don't know if I can say their name, but I had two male MTIs and he got us, put us in order, had us walk, march to our dorm, I mean, our dormitory. We marched to our dormitory and I was in Disneyland, so I was flight 335, Can't Stop the Rock, you know, the best squadron there is. So we um, we stayed in Disneyland and if you ever stay in Disneyland, I mean, it's a privilege to stay in Disneyland, but then again, it's going to be hard the first couple weeks because... I was told that all of the meaner, uh, all of the meaner MTIs work in Disneyland. As far as in Alcatraz and, you know, I think, I can't even remember, I know it's Alcatraz. Probably was just Alcatraz. But if you stayed in Alcatraz, they were pretty, I heard they were pretty chill, but I'm probably not. I think ours were kind of meaner because we had like new people coming in and, you know. So, um. I was in Disneyland and let me tell you, it's really, really nice. It's the newer dormitories and I, um, when it comes to cleaning and everything, but that's for another video, but yeah. I stayed in, Al I mean not Alcatraz, I stayed in Disneyland and sorry if I'm rambling a lot because I'm trying to remember 
but yeah so when we got upstairs in our dormitory they were like okay everybody strip and mind you we're in a we're in a uh, i'm in a flight with like 30 50 other females so they're like okay strip get in the shower go take a shower our MTIs weren't in there, but they said, wait till I leave out to strip and then take a shower. And we had like a time limit. So yeah, we had like, what, six minutes to strip, take a shower and be ready for bed. They told us what to put on, strip and get in the bed. So we put on our, um, we got, as they walked out, we stripped, got in the showers and they started banging on the door, boom, 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 boom. Hurry up, hurry up. Like it was a door connected to our shower. So they would bang on that door while we were in the shower and be like, hurry up, you got this many minutes, yada, yada, yada. So um, we were just trying to hurry up and get in the shower because we were already kind of scared. So we hurried up, got in our shower, put on our pajamas. So we didn't have matching clothes. We didn't have our pizza gear at the time. So we just put on like regular pajama clothes, whatever we bought with, brought with us. And um, they came back, they said, all right, lights out. And we got in the bed with sleep. Three hours later, y'all, three hours later, Mind you, I'm exhausted. Three hours later, yeah. When I say when I say it, that was so freaking loud. They played it over the intercom. Everybody was confused. They came in like four MTIs came in, beating on the door, screaming, "Y'all, like, get out, get out, get out!" Like they were yelling, y'all. Everybody was scared. It was running, getting up, running, and like once again, we were tired, so people were moving slow, but. Yeah, they were screaming and yelling, telling us to get up. We, like, <laughs> it was crazy. And we got up, we got ready for, um, I don't know what we did that morning. I think we got up, formed a formed the line. They told us to hydrate, get our water bottles, fill our water bottles up, um, and get ready because we're about to go down to chow. So we got, that, got done, got in line, and when we say, we were on the fourth floor, y'all, the fourth floor, and we could not walk. We could not walk down those stairs. We had to run down the stairs and run up the stairs. So we had to run down the stairs as fast as possible out the door, form up, form up. And when we formed up, we seen so many people out there. Like it was like so many flights. We were like, okay, okay, this is, this is, you know, yeah. That's when it was getting real. So y'all, yeah, that was, um, I think they call it Hell Week. I can't remember, but I think it was called Hell Week or something like that. So, yeah, when I say so many people were getting chewed out, like, it was crazy. So many people were getting chewed out in the chow hall. Like, do not smile. Do not smirk. Keep a straight face, y'all. Do not do nothing. Don't cry. Do not cry. It's going to be okay. Just do not cry. But, um, we got in line. We were getting ready to go into the chow hall. Going, as soon as we started going to chow hall, all we heard was people getting yelled at. Like, y'all, they was all in their face screaming and yelling, you're crying, why are you laughing? What's so funny? What do you got to talk about? Da, 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 da. Yeah, don't say nothing when you get in there. Don't say nothing. Just go get your food, sit down, eat, and leave. You got a time limit on, what time, on how long you can get your food and eat your food before you got to get up and throw it in the trash. They don't care if you're not done your food. You got to get up and get and throw it away. Like... So be prepared for that as well. Um, it's gonna be a snake pit. It's gonna be called, it's like a table with all of the MTIs and they're gonna be like sitting there watching you eat. In the middle of the cafeteria, it's called the snake pit. And like three MTIs sit there and they're preparing to like yell at you, make you shame, scream at you. They're gonna call you out. You all the way in the corner over there in the cafeteria. They in the middle. Hey you, yeah you, what are you looking at? What are you talking about over there? Eat your dang food. Like y'all. Yeah. It's, it was crazy, and that's why I just mind my business, you know, eat my little fruit cup and my bacon and pancakes because, y'all, we ate good. I ain't going to lie. The food was good. The food was not slot off. Air Force food, the best. Y'all, we had pancakes, eggs, sausage, bacon, orange juice. <laughs> y'all, it was good. And you had to get two drinks. You had to have two drinks, and um, you had to drink them all before you left. So your best out is to drink that drink first, eat your food, and drink your next drink because... You gotta drink the drink, no matter what, both of them. And, um, yeah, that's all I can think about that happened. Um, people were still getting yelled at. Um, basically, that's all that really happened on the first day of Hill Week. People were um, getting yelled at. We didn't have our uniforms, we didn't have anything yet. We were just in our civilian clothes walking around. Um, and, yeah.
nothing bad. Nothing really happened to me for, um, per se. I didn't get in trouble or anything. I didn't get yelled at as much, but a lot of people did get in trouble. A lot of people did get yelled at um, because they didn't know, we didn't know what we were doing. So yeah, we obviously got yelled at. But other than that, Hell Week is not as bad as people make it seem. Now if you're scared and you're going in there with no discipline and don't know how to keep a straight face and you're not crying and nothing like that, you should be good. But if you're crying and you thinking this, this stuff is a joke, yeah, they gonna chew y'all out. Like you gonna hate you gonna hate your MTIs for the first couple of weeks because they gonna chew you out so bad the first day. So keep that in mind. But um, I'm gonna stop right there because I really am about to. I want to get into the next um, part and I want to make that into a separate video. But that was the first 24 hours um, from my experience in um, basic training for BMT in 2020. Um, so yeah, if you have any more questions about what happened on Hell Week or I can't remember what it's called, y'all hold up, let me look it up. Okay, so the first week of basic training is called Zero Week. And you, um, basic training is um, eight and a half weeks long. So basic training is eight and a half weeks long, so it was called Zero Week, and Zero Week was also slash Hell Week. So yeah, that's, well, that's what I think it was called, that's from what I remember. But yeah, it was called Hell Week. Um, and all I can say is the best, um, Dang, what's the saying? I can't even remember the saying. Just forget it. But, uh, yeah. Also, I forgot to include that um, when you first get there, you get a phone call. That you get your first phone call when you first get there. And you're going to get your cell phone. And you're going to... So, actually, before you stripping in the shower, you're going to get your first phone call, y'all. You're going to get your first phone call. And basically what's going to happen is... No, it's no, it's not like a regular like, hi mom, I'm here, I made it. Nah, it's not there. You're gonna get a script. You're gonna get like a little script on a sheet of paper and it's gonna be like, this is my, this is my address, write it down. Like you gotta follow the script, nothing extra, y'all. When I say I cried my first phone call, y'all, I cried. I, and I never really cried on the phone with my mama. My mom was like, it's okay, you can do it. <laughs> I was like, it's okay, it's gonna be okay, you can do it. So I called her. <laughs> I called my mom on my regular cell phone and I had to follow the script so I was like hi I, I can't remember the words it was like hi I made it and please get out a pen and paper here is what I'll here is my address for you to send me letters and she wrote it down and I was like okay bye that was it like yeah it was like hi I have made it to basic training here is my it was like robot type stuff like <laughs> my mom was like are you okay I was like hi mm -hmm. <laughs> Lip quivery, yeah. Oh my god, but it was crazy. But that's gonna be your first phone call, and that's gonna that was the only time I really cried while I was there. But that was my first phone call, and yeah, no one knew I went to basic training but my mom and like my close friends. So I just called my mom first, and I gave her my address, and I, you know, yada yada yada, told her. This is the number that you will call. I mean, not the number, because it was no numbers. I was like, this is my address that you can send letters to. Please get out a pen and paper so you can write this down. And, okay, goodbye. Hung up the phone. And as soon as you hung that phone up, they said, time's up. You got to hang up that phone. Y'all, everybody hung up the phone. They said, now put, bring your phones up here. We had like a little box, a red bin, and everybody got their own little bags. And... They had numbers on them for your bed number, and you put your phone in there, put it in the box, like closed the lid up, locked it up, and locked and took it with them in their office, and locked it up in their office. Like it was no nothing else after that, no phone calls. So yeah, I forgot to add that part in. So my bad. But that was our first phone call. So that's all I can really remember from my first week. I mean, my first forty, my first twenty-four hours. So y'all, that's. So y'all, that's all I can remember from my first 24 hours of basic training. And um, yeah, if you want me to keep going with these videos on what happened during first week, second week, third week, fourth week, fifth week, sixth week, seventh week, eighth week, um, just let me know. I can make a whole little series out of my basic training experience and let you all know. Okay guys, so that's all I have for this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to put like my Instagram name like right here. Yeah, I think. Um, and don't forget to follow me on TikTok right here. So, yeah. 
um i will be updating you all more on whatever else comes as my air force journey continues and if you all have any questions or anything you all want to know about just comment down below and i'll make a video explaining those and i'll try to get back to you all with the ans the comments and the answers um and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you all in the next video bye guys